Well, good morning, boys and girls and families of Christ Lutheran and our neighbors. We are so glad that you're tuning in for today's children's message. This is the children's message for Sunday, February 21st, 2021. Hard to believe that still. And it's also the children's message for the first Sunday in Lent. For those that I haven't had an opportunity to meet in the past, my name is Pastor Ann and I serve as the pastor of the congregation along with my ministry partner, Pastor Lou. So this morning I thought we would talk just a little bit about the special season that the church is now in that we call the season of Lent. That's spelled L-E-N-T. And traditionally, there are 40 days in this special season to help us get ready and get prepared for what's coming next. And what's coming next in the church's calendar is our Easter celebration. And so when you watch the worship service today, boys and girls, if you pay attention to the color that Pastor Lou and Pastor David and I are wearing, our stoles are going to be purple now and you will see purple linens on the altar table in the sanctuary, as well as on the pulpit and around the sanctuary in general. That helps us remember that we're now in the special season of Lent. And there are many things that we can focus on during the special season, but I want us to start out with remembering that this season teaches us that God is with us even when things are not going as we want them to go. And so we hear two Bible stories today that really teach us this lesson. The first is the story of Noah and the ark, and the second is the story of Jesus being pushed out into the wilderness and being tempted by Satan in the wilderness. So let's start with the first story of how Noah is a righteous man, a man who loves God and follows God's ways. Well, when Noah was alive, things were not going as God wished them to go. Everyone in the world was was going against God's teachings, wasn't loving their neighbor, was doing all sorts of things that made God very sad. Except for Noah, the Bible teaches us that Noah was a righteous man, that he feared God and he loved God. And so God told Noah to build an ark, a great big boat, because God was going to send rain and there was going to be a great flood on the earth. And so Noah needed to gather his family and the animals into the ark for safety. And because Noah listened to God, Noah and his family were safe, even when the rainwaters came, even during the 40 days of the flood. And that teaches us that God was faithful to Noah. God was with Noah even when the world wasn't going to plan, even when things weren't looking so good. God was still faithful to Noah and his family and creation that was in the ark. And when the waters of the flood went away, and when Noah and his family came out of the boat, God gave them a special sign to remind them of how much God loved them and God loved all that would come after them and God loved the world. God put a rainbow in the sky as a sign of God's promise of love and never again to send such a great flood to the earth. So that story teaches us that God is with us when things aren't going well and that God loves us even in those very challenging moments. The second story that you're going to hear if you watch the big worship service with your families uh, this morning is the story of Jesus' baptism. And just after Jesus is baptized, he's pushed out into the wilderness uh, by the Holy Spirit. And there in the wilderness, Jesus is challenged by Satan, who is the enemy of God. And we know that Jesus is God's only son. And Jesus out in the wilderness where he's facing all these challenges that I'm sure he he didn't necessarily expect. And he certainly would probably rather be celebrating his baptism back at the Jordan River with his, his friends and the other disciples of John. But instead, Jesus finds himself out in the wilderness in this desert place by himself. And when he is tempted by Satan, the enemy of God, 
Jesus is reminded that God is with him because God sends angels to minister to Jesus and to wait on Jesus and care for him. And Jesus also remembers God's promises given in scripture, given in the words of the Bible. And he quotes those words to, to Satan and he endures the temptation because he relies on God's promise to be with him and the promises of scripture. And that story really, really teaches us that when things are not going as planned, when we find ourselves out in those wilderness moments, that God is with us and God is caring for us, that God is our helper. When I take a breath and I think about the world around us, I sometimes think to myself, things are not the way we want them to be. Things are not the way I want them to be. Things are not the way God wants them to be. You've probably heard grown-ups talking about a virus that is making a large number of people sick. You've probably been praying for people that maybe you know that are sick or maybe the doctors and the nurses who are taking such good care of those who find themselves sick from the virus. We're praying that God will make things better, that God will bring a cure and heal us. You probably have days where things are not the way you want them to be, or you feel sad, or you wish you could go and play with your friends more easily, where you feel a bit worried about the way things are. You might long for a day when you can go to school and not have to have any special rules about wearing a mask, or if you can sing at choir practice, or how you can play your instruments at band rehearsal. I know there are pastors and church members who are longing for a day when we can get back to worshiping together in the sanctuary and singing all of the songs and hymns that we love. On these days where things are not the way we want them to be, we are to trust, to have faith in the promise that God has given us. And the promise is that God is with us and God is our helper. And God sends us great reminders of these promises. He gives us rainbows in the sky to remind us that he's with us and that he cares for us. He gives us the gift of his holy word that we can read together as a family, where we hear stories of God's love and God's presence. And he gives us each other, each other to encourage one another along the way, to walk with each other on those hard days, to pray and to care for each other. And so as we start this very special season of Lent, as we begin to follow Jesus and we head towards Jesus cross where he suffers and dies and then he rises again out of love for you and for me, let us remember that we are always following our God who loves us, who is with us, and who cares for us. He is our helper. So why don't we fold our hands and we'll close our eyes and we'll say a prayer together. Dear God, you give us the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. He promises to be with us always. He gives us the gift of his spirit. So on days when things are not as we want them to be, Help us to trust in you and your promise to be with us, to love us, and to be our helper. We pray this and whatever else you know that we need in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.